Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to your mid-November to December 1st reading of this current year. Hope you're all doing okay with yourselves. I got your readings for you. We're going to use Even Moon, of course, and we're going to clarify with my writer weight because I love it. Mwah. Uh, I'm still doing personal readings if you guys are looking forward to one. I'll be open to do them until about December 14th. Because I gotta go, like, do adult stuff or whatever. You know how it goes. Anyway. No whammies. Let's begin with your reading, shall we? We shall. No delays, Aquarius, because you got things to do and alternate realities to recover. The beginning theme being the Knight of Pentacles, a slow moving offer, but moving nonetheless. It's just taking a while, right? Let us see, Aquarius. Let me give it one good shuffle and then we'll begin. Okay, now let us begin. So far we got like what looks like a disunion or a breakup with the Two of Cups reversed. Like di something didn't quite pan out the way you were expecting it to. And someone is definitely coming from the truth, coming for the truth and cutting out that bullshit with the King of Swords. Could be you Aquarius or a Libra or a Gemini or you could sit on the cards the way you're supposed to. Jesus. There we go. Okay. Then right here we go. And then nine of wands. Someone's keeping vigil. Keeping their guard up. Definitely keeping watch. Because there's still that movement coming around in this situation. With the eight of wands. Right? Someone's feeling left out in the cold and they're wanting to come back in. Page of swords. Someone's being a little immature with their spy work. Once again, could be you, Aquarius, or a Libra or a Gemini. Someone's definitely nosing. And looking for the truth over here. They are hunting. This one could be this one. They might be acting mature about it, but they're definitely looking for something. Like they, they definitely want some sort of information. And they're sitting there keeping their eye out with the Nine of Wands because they aren't getting any movement over here. There's no action. Everything's stagnant. Right, Aquarius? Whoever you're dealing with anyway. Then, right here, what's going against you? The Eight of Cups, where someone's just leaving and walking away. Because there's no start to this. There's no beginning. Once again, there's no move. There's no move. There's stagnation, and there's nothing getting started with this. Whatever that is. That's like, look at this. This is three fire. Four. Because of the four of wands, too. Probably more somewhere that I'm missing. Is this one, too? No, this pentacle. A little bit of groundedness in here. But yeah, like, someone... there, There's no startup with this at all. Like, someone wants to walk away, but they don't have the ability to. Because there's stagnation, there's no movement, nothing's happening. Um, let's see. The Hermit card in the fear is reversed. Someone is isolating themselves in an unhealthy way. Right? And that is a burden that needs to come to an end if it hasn't already. And now we got this King of Wands who's acting really spoiled. Acting really, really... God is back turned to all this shit, mind you. He's not paying attention to anything. Like, everyone adores him. The kids all adore him. But, like, nobody sees how much of a snob he is. Might be victorious in it, too. He might just walk away and be happy. Like, look at all this fire. You look at this king. Could be a Leo. Most likely Leo, because, you know, he's the king, so why not? 
Also Sagittarius and Aries as well. But he wants to be victorious. He's walking away because he wants that victory. Right? Ending theme is the end. It is the end. So right up with your offering. As the Knight of Pentacles. Well, maybe someone's going to deliver some offer to you in the end. When it comes to the end, that is. The three advice cards, please. I mean, it's kind of crazy because, like, look at this air right here. But then it just gets overwhelmed with all of this fire. Like, sure, there's a couple of cards that represent Earth, maybe one that represents emotion, but that emotional attachment, it doesn't seem like it's doing much, but someone still can't leave just yet. They, aren't, they don't have the ability to start leaving just yet. The last three are pretty, please. Oh, here's the first one. See, uh, yeah, someone's still going to keep isolating themselves for the wrong reasons. Someone's still not going to open up, let anything in. Someone's definitely avoiding that. Someone is trying to get what they want behind the scenes. Like, there's the curtain. He's sitting in front of the curtain. He's hiding all of this. He doesn't want anybody to know about this. And someone's feeling a little bit excommunicated with it all. You know, like... Like, almost like someone is really insecure about a breakup with a possible provider person. Like that excommunication right there. Like that person might feel like they're scared of being tossed. Like they aren't that important, you know. But they don't matter that much, you know. That was your Aquariuses, and, well, get ready for a new adventure, man. I think you earned it. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.